okay. And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Alby Does Stuff. Uh, my name is Alby, and well, I do stuff. Hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. It's really pretty up here in the Bay Area, California. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be selling some shoes. Um, some of you already know about this, and if you saw it in episode one, you'll know that I am a bit of a sneakerhead. So today I'm going to be meeting up with one of my regular buyers who normally buys shoes for me. And then after that, we're going to be heading over to Nike because I also do have a pair of shoes um, that I do want to return. And then after that, the coup de grace of everything, the reason why I'm making today's vlog is that I'm actually going to be buying a real like beginner's uh, vlogging camera. I'm going to be heading over to Best Buy this afternoon um, after all of this is done uh, so that I can pick up the Sony ZV-1. A lot of vloggers in the past year have been talking about it. Uh, it's supposedly really solid. All right, and if you didn't already, I would love if you could please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, maybe leave a like if you're enjoying the video and heck, maybe even click on that notification bell so you know when all of my episodes come out. Thank you all so much for your support so far. It's been wonderful. I really, really appreciate um, all of you who've subscribed already. So thanks for coming back. All right, so come along. Let's do stuff. I'm here to meet with my buyer who usually buys uh, sneakers for me. Um, sometimes, you know, I want to keep these sneakers and sometimes I just kind of say, you know, I don't need them and I can make a little bit of profit. We decided to meet over at a Starbucks, as you can see behind me. Um, and then after this, head over to Nike. I think I mentioned this in an Instagram story, but I'm actually a little bit nervous about um, vlogging in public. So I guess we'll see what this is like uh, when we head over to Nike because I don't know if they're gonna let me. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna use my, my tripod, my gimbal here, um, but we'll see what happens. Are you ready to see a magic trick? And, and just like that, they're gone. Okay, well this one pair, but I gotta go over to Nike, right? And I'll return those there. All right, come along, let's keep doing stuff. So here I am at Nike Outlet in San Jose, I guess technically Saratoga. I just realized that before I go in, I didn't actually show you guys what I'm returning today. So it's the infamous Air Jordan 1 OG box. Um, and yeah, but is it called the Jordan 1 Fusion Reds? Some people call them the Ronald McDonald's. Um, other people say it's kind of a pink. I know you can't really tell that well, but yeah, they're just not for me. And honestly, there's no margin um, for any sort of profit on them in the resale world. So that's okay. It's funny, a lot of sneaker heads or, or resellers specifically would call these what are, um, people call them bricks, if you will, as in like, you know, they, they really aren't worth much. Um, but the reality is, and I mean this sincerely, I kind of hope that someone finds these here and is happy with them because you, know, you can call them bricks all you want, but if people are happy with the shoes, so be it. I think that's what's important. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and head on inside. All right, so what I thought would be kind of fun for this channel, or for this episode specifically, would be kind of just show you what like a sneakerhead does at a Nike and, and what the process is like of going because yes, I'm here to return something. But, as you can guess, I'm going to take a look around. Alright, headed in. I'm all masked up. I'm good to go. Going to go right into the line, but... So what it's looking like today... Welcome to Nike Outlet. Is there a dog? So down the regular walls here on the shelves, each of them kind of have its own like category. So here we'll find all the hoop shoes, all the basketball shoes that they have. Um, sometimes when like things are good, you'll see a Jordan wall. I don't think we have one right now here. Yeah. 
And yeah, at least for like sneakers and stuff, that's pretty much it. You kind of look at all the different aisles that they have here. The hash wall, like I said, once in a while in the past, I've really scored big and found some really great things. Um, and once in a while, you'll find a really nice lifestyle shoe. But, you know, to be perfectly honest, I've kind of slowed down a lot on my purchases of sneakers as much as I can. Um, but yeah. And it's not usually a prior order for me, but sometimes I'll look around at the clothing. Um, and I've got some really good kind of workout shirts here, some of the really nice dry fit stuff. Well, that's it for Nike Saratoga today. Um, yeah, it was kind of cool going around again. I was here a couple weeks ago, um, but through the pandemic, of course, I didn't really come very often. Um, but yeah, things are slowly getting back to normal, which is pretty cool. No Jordan retros, no dunks. I hope the Jordan ones that I returned today uh, go to somebody who really wants them. But anyway, that's it for Nike. Um, maybe if you saw something cool, go check them out over here in Saratoga if you're from the area. We're going to head over to Best Buy over at Santana Row down in San Jose. And I'm going to go pick up my camera. I'm really excited. Come along with me. Here we go. All right, so here we are, the Best Buy at Santana Row. There it is. That's the Sony ZV-1. Very excited to check this out. I think it actually comes with a cool bundle if I ask for it. Yeah, this should get me going on my vlogging journey. Here we go. So some people might not realize it, but they actually sell toys at Best Buy. See their little Lego section here. I've never seen this Batman helm before. I thought that was pretty cool. It's interesting that you have to be an adult to build these, I guess. I don't know. I could be reading this wrong, but it does say 18 plus. But that says E plus. I don't know. Hmm. Hey everyone, Future Alby here. I just wanted to add the unboxing of the camera to this episode. So let's go ahead and check it out now. We have the Sony ZV-1 and the vlogger kit that comes along with it. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the camera itself. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Let's take a look. Um, and like I said, I'll try to give you a good angle of what's inside. Um, and let's take a look. We open it up and then cables, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just a micro USB cable that's used for charging. Um, and then right in the middle here, packaged in is the camera itself in this bag. And hey, there it is, the Sony ZV-1, look at that, cool. It has a battery, which is gonna be very important. So we'll take a look at that later. Um, so a few things about the camera itself. Um, this right here, I think is a windscreen. And the idea of this is that this is supposed to protect um, the internal camera. And then you just slide the windscreen on top and then it goes right over the external or the internal mic that's uh, included in this and the idea for this for those of you who don't really use cameras or anything all of this is supposed to um, kind of help with any sort of external or extra sound any wind or anything that happens um, this will help take care of that and you'll only get the main sound so that's what that is simple packaging right you have the battery right here, and then again, the charging cable. It has a fancy flip screen, which, so check this out. All of a sudden, whoop, you see that there, and you're able to see yourself there. And then, what's cool is, to protect the camera, all you have to do is flip it, and then you can actually protect the screen this way. It just goes like that. So there it is. Product showcase feature, this is a cool one. What'll happen is, the camera will focus on your face automatically, but then as soon as you put something that you want to focus on, say you're like doing a review for this battery, as soon as you put it up here, it focuses on the battery and then it defocuses on my face so then you can see the product 
and then you take it down and it goes right back to my face. It has a soft skin effect, which I think is kind of funny. I believe Zoom has very something very similar where it'll kind of like smoothen out any lines that you have. Um, stuff like that. Again, really great for vloggers. It can fit in your pocket. It's not very big at all. It's easy to slide in. Um, yeah, so it, it's pretty attractive in that sense. It's pretty discreet. You don't have this huge setup in your face. As I talked about before, a little fear of public vlogging because it's just you get so much attention on you. Um, but with this, it's a little bit less. It's not as extreme as like with a big DSLR or a mirrorless camera, right? Um, let's go ahead and unbox the vlogger's kit as well. And then yeah, inside the vlogger's kit is more packaging. Um, and this is where the actual um, tripod goes or the, the selfie stick, if you will, even. Um, a shooting grip, I guess is what they officially call it. And the kit also does come with a 64 gigabyte memory card, an SD card, which is important for all the shooting that you'll do as a vlogger. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the shooting grip, as they call it, and it's packaged nicely, as you can see. All right, cool, and then let's go ahead and unwrap. There we go. There it is. That's the shooting grip that comes along with this whole vlogging kit that I got at Best Buy. But one of the cool things is that this actually connects via Bluetooth. So I'm able to remotely um, control this. And that's how this, you know, you just put the camera right up on here. Yeah. And then I'm able to record or shoot a shot. I think there's some um, configurations that you can play with. Um, and yeah, and you can even lock the camera right there. So a lot of really cool features on this. And then it's also a nice, solid tripod for whenever I do need to do still shots. I'll just put it right down there. All right, so I think past Albie is just getting home now. So I'm gonna pass it back to him and he's gonna sign you out. Well, I guess that's it. That's the end of the vlog. I hope you had a really good time. Thanks for coming along with me. Um, I would say that today was actually pretty successful. I thought it was a really nice day out. I was able to sell four pairs of shoes, return another. I was able to buy a camera, like a really good camera too. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, Best Buy, um, I got a little bit of footage, but as I was checking out, I actually talked to one of the associates who said that you're not actually supposed to be vlogging in the store. Um, he doesn't know the official rules, but he had said that he had seen people um, get like, like told not to anymore. I didn't do much, you saw a little bit of footage, uh, but overall I would say it was a great day. So thank you once again for coming along to hang out with me. I'm so glad that you're going on these adventures with me as I learn how to vlog. Really, that's kind of what this channel is about. It's kind of me learning how to vlog. In fact, look out for an episode where I literally kind of like conquer my fears and do a little bit more public vlogging. Today, I think I mentioned it earlier, was definitely the first time I've actually vlogged in public. So doing it at the Nike store, totally a different thing. Anyway, thanks again for coming along. I hope you have a really nice day. And well, hey, go do stuff.